Okay, hello folks, and welcome to my reaction video to Dimash Kudabergen's Love is Like a Dream. A uh, bunch of stuff in Russian here, and it says it has English subtitles. I believe I've turned it on here. Yes, perfect. And his message here, Happy New Year to all the dears. Uh, that's what he calls his fan base, in case anyone does not know. Uh, so the appearance of Dimash and Igor Krutoy together, I, I, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, um, as, two as two amazing artists has become a fixture in the New Year's celebrations in pre-war Russia. Uh, we miss the collaboration between Dimash and Igor and the breathtakingly beautiful uh, compositions that resulted from this collaboration and then a bunch more. Okay, so let's continue on here. Really like the first uh, few minutes, or not minutes uh, the first few seconds the first 18 seconds to be precise i like that dimash is really um it feels kind of like he's moving towards uh much more serious uh sort of themes in his music and you know this one definitely uh you, you know seems to be starting out very um very serious like in a sense uh, I also really think it's really cool the, uh, I don't know, what do you call it, choreography or cinematography or whatever it is, like all the background here. Let's keep on going though, folks. And, oh my gosh, I don't know how I did that. Uh, I need to remember to click the play button here. Uh, the mouse seems to have developed a mind of its own here. You <laughs> Как в зеркало смотрюсь, отражение потерять свое боюсь. Не хочу, чтоб я лишь костем был сумраки ночей. So interestingly, I don't know if you all noticed that as well, but uh, it seems like a uh, like the uh, voice there is like a recording and um i don't know it it i i think it adds like a certain element of uh, genuineness to the uh to the performance here just keep on going <laughs> Я люблю тебя, как любят жизни раз, словно солнце в мире не плата нас, от забот и мелких ссор я тебя увел и ключи я. So what I was just saying earlier is I feel like the first portion was a recording and then like they uh like the uh, the people directing this like got it so that he like start he replaced the recording with himself speaking like seamlessly so i, I think that may, maybe i'm wrong maybe like everything is him uh singing or speaking here either way i think it's a really cool uh a really cool beginning to the song. Let's keep on going. Счастья для тебя нашел, для тебя нашел. Любовь похожая на сон. Сердец хрустальных перед Oh, 
похожая на Okay, so that is really cool right here. I don't know if everyone saw that, but uh, did you notice how there seemed to be a, it, it was like almost a false pause in the, uh, in the video there? Um, let me see if, I know certain parts are like, you're able to see if certain YouTube videos are more played uh, than others. Uh, that doesn't seem to be showing enough. Okay. Anyways, I think that that's really cool because it's something you don't really see in a ton of uh, music videos. I mean, I know this is like technically a live performance, um, but either way, I thought it was pretty cool. So let's keep on going here, folks. Я прощаю одиночество и грусть. Ты сказала в них я больше не вернусь. Так бывает только в сладком сне, но любовь у нас на его I also thought it was really cool how they have, uh, Dimash has this like almost, uh, like this particular part of the song has a, like, I, I don't know if for lack of a better word, like almost a sort of gospel sort of uh, sound in it. Uh, and I don't know if it's just the combination of like uh, the actual uh, lyrics themselves or uh, the sort of tone of his voice, or I don't know what, but either ways, let's keep on going here, folks. If I can get the video to start again. <laughs> I also have to add, I'm really glad that he's not doing what a lot of singers do, which is like uh, adding too much of the oh, or you, you know that thing where they like shake their voice like that? I, I'm really glad he's not doing too much of that because uh, when people overdo that, that that's, gets a little annoying. <laughs> um, okay, let's keep on going here, folks. Very interesting song so far. Also, I gotta really gotta add like very good song. I think it's got really, really good, especially for the time of the year. Uh, really good, just um, very centering, very gravity eing uh lyrics i, I think it's um I, I don't know really great song so far let's keep on going <laughs>
I mean, like, I, I know you could say almost to a certain extent it was a little corny there, but, like, I, I liked how as he kept going higher and higher notes, like, they, uh, they, like, you, you know, did that, like, drum thing and had all the, I, I don't know, what is that, like, the uh, liquid nitrogen or wherever that stuff is on the floor. Um, I, I don't know, I, I, I just thought that that was pretty cool uh, for a sort of added, sort of, like, special effect. Um, but anyways, let's keep on going here, folks. Very cool, very cool. I think what is really cool is how especially that, that especially, I don't know, it feels like this song did everything correctly. Um, it, it's a very good song to listen to uh, here on the first day of the new year. Um, I guess today is 1-1-23. One, one, Happy New Year, everyone, by the way. Um, very good song. Very good song. Um, thank you again, everyone, to uh, join along here. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I guess I do need to subscribe to uh, Dimash. Wait, no, that is... Is that Dimash? Or is that like a fan of Dimash? I can't quite tell. Because I know Dimash is... I don't know if this is Dimash's actual. Please watch Dimash's official video for the story of the sky. I can't quite tell because I think Dimash is like a uh, YouTube's name is D I M A S H, not Dimash Zone. Uh, I'll hold off clicking on that for now. Um, either way, thank you to everyone who joined along with me here. And I will see everyone in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.